Hello, everyone. Uh, the highlight of the last week uh, was a visit that our president, Dr. Kathy Lawrence, and I made to Rideau Hall to confer in person honorary membership to His Excellency the Right Honorable David Johnston. We were able to discuss the challenges and opportunities facing our profession. He was very gracious, diplomatic, and engaged. Mr. Johnston reiterated how proud he is of this honor and expressed thanks to the college. We are getting ready for an upcoming meeting uh, of the board of the college at the end of the month. There are several key issues for discussion. A proposal to move to a smaller, scales-based board with uh, alternative means of ensuring input from chapters and section to the direction of the organization. We will consider some proposed changes to the criteria for fellowship. We will also look at a proposal for the creation of a collaborative rural education and advocacy task force to be held collaboratively with the Society of Rural Physicians of Canada. We look forward also to get some updates regarding the process leading to certificates of added competence or CACs in five enhanced skills area in family medicine. We look forward to these discussions and we will be sharing the outcomes with you. Our Leaders Forum this year will focus on the topic of social accountability. You may know that uh, this is one of the goals of the organization. It is an important goal, but we need to ask ourselves what we can do, practically speaking, to bring this goal to life. Through our association with uh, WANCA, the World Organization of Family Doctors, we will be celebrating uh, the World Family Doctor Day on May 19th. So it's an important, an important day for us to remember the important contribution that we make to the care of patients in each of our respective communities. So this is it for this week, and until my next blog, have a great week, everyone.